Hi guys, I'm Kumtsaram Peculiar and this is C++ Code Answers where you will definitely find all the solutions to your C++ code problems. This is the problem we'll be working on in our video today. Write a C++ program that prompts the user to input the elapsed time for an event in seconds. The program then outputs the elapsed time in hours, minutes and seconds. For example, if the elapsed time is 9630 seconds, then the output is 2 hours, a colon, 40 minutes, another colon, and 30 seconds. Let's open up our IDE, Dev C++ and get starting on our program. The program prompts the user to enter elapsed seconds, so we'll declare elapsed seconds as an integer. The program should then output these elapsed seconds in format hours, minutes and seconds, so we'll declare them as integers as well. Now let's prompt the user for input of D seconds. And now for the conversion of the elapsed seconds into the format required. A minute is equal to 60 seconds. And if we wanted 60 minutes, which is 60 times this one minute, it means we have to multiply by 60 in seconds also. 60 by 60 which is 3,600 seconds. Because 60 minutes makes an hour, this means that one hour equals to 3,600 seconds. Yep, now we've converted seconds to minutes and to hours. We'll use this information to build our code. Now let's write the assignment of the expected output, starting off with hours. We have seen that an hour is made by 3600 seconds. As such, our equation for hours is equals to elapsed seconds divided by 3600. Now on to the conversion and assignment of the minutes. We have seen that a minute is made by 60 seconds. As such, our equation for minutes equals seconds divided by 60. But we must note that we are calculating using the remaining seconds from those used in hours since we no longer have them as fully as they were. So to get these remaining seconds, we use the remainder operator in place of division. Therefore, our equation for minute is this remaining seconds divided by 60. Now 
on to the conversion and assignment of seconds. We will use the seconds remaining from the minutes to calculate this. And we now know that to get the remaining seconds, we use the remainder operator in place of the division. And since we are no longer converting, we'll just take these remaining seconds, which will be giving us the seconds that we need. Therefore, our equation for seconds is these remaining seconds using the remainder operator instead of the division operator. Having done the assignment, we are now moving on to the output. The program then outputs the elapsed seconds in hours, minutes, and seconds. So, we'll now output in the format required. Let's now save our file. I'll save it as time conversion. Now let's compile it. Great, zero errors. So let's run our program. Enter the time elapsed in seconds. We'll enter the seconds provided on our program 9630. And there, 2 hours, 40 minutes, 30 seconds. So you can try out many times with different elapsed seconds values. That's all for me today. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. C++ Code Solutions. Remember to keep programming for it's the future.